unmute myself hello how are we all good evening good morning good afternoon wherever you're tuning in from hope everyone is doing really well nice to see you in here already John, if you're still around thanks for stopping in same to you Cecil thanks for stopping in before you're off to bed a little bit late for you folk in the US but uh, nice to stop in and say hello welcome to you little Rob I hope I didn't too much of a fright with the music Oh, cool. Is it too loud? Now, one, someone actually said to me last week after watching the VOD afterwards was that the um, game sound was too loud and you couldn't hear me. So, oh, no one else has ever commented before, so I don't know if that's a issue or not. Let me know if I need to turn something up or down. Get things fixed. Jason Rowe, how you doing? James Ogle, g'day mate. How are you? Nice to have you here, Chunuk. Good evening, buddy. Roxanne, how you doing, my love? Hope you are feeling a bit better. I haven't touched base with you for a wee while, so hope you're doing good. We'll uh, have to have a chat. See how you're feeling, but nice that you are here. Chris67, good evening. How are you disturbed? Nice to see you as well, my friend. We will uh, touch base on what you've done for me in just a minute. Oh, your YouTube turned up for some reason when it kicked and it gave you a fright. Probably turned it up going, it's quiet, what's well, nothing happening? Because I've been a little bit busy in the map. Akira, how you doing buddy? Nice to see you. I am doing very well. Welcome along. I've uh, I've got an added map, uh, add the New South Wales number plate. After doing it with uh, FSG on No Man's Land, knowing how to do it. There we go, we've got some New South Wales plates. It doesn't work very well on the tractor. There's something a little bit wrong with the model. Uh, I just need to tweak that. But it works pretty well on the back of the main cruiser there. That was pretty cool. And then, the other thing I've done, some of you might have seen this on Discord. We've uh, gone and painted up the Kenworth, given it a custom paint job. Got the New Zealand flag up there, the fighting Kiwi flag as well. And uh, customised this, got the uh, number plate there. That's not a in-game number plate, so we had to do that a little bit differently. But uh, yeah, but it was it was pretty cool to do. It was a lot of fun actually. A bit easier than I thought because this is a full skin. Basically just have to retexture it. That was quite a lot of fun. Mustard Seed, how you doing? Nice to see you. TJ... How you doing mate? Was that joke from FSG at Dig Us New Zealand was about the sheep? Yeah, more than likely. He, uh, he likes to do that. The new plate is cool. Yeah, it's nice. Hey? I'm gonna, um, I might actually send it over to Hox and see if he wants to put it in the game. Have it in there. Not sure if there's any do's and don'ts with that with Giants with getting things tested, but we'll see. Hello Brett. How you doing? Rock saw the notification this time. Uh, after Stocky gave me grief about not tweeting or posting on Facebook about it, I thought I'd better do that too. So there's a... Uh, Facebook post and a tweet saying I was going live, so no excuse for missing out now. Hey you car tech, how you doing? Good morning to you. Bundy Bear Gaming, welcome along. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to have you all here. Um, now I was going to say, Disturbed has sent me over something during the week. We talked about it last week, was doing a more Australian planting schedule. And uh, this is what he's come up with. Now, Aussies are probably going to say you don't do some of that in the right season. This is based on the Ningen Farms from FS19, the geo for that. So he's done the planting, which, and that was a Western Australian map. So um, you can see there, you know, your cereal crops planted in uh, late autumn, early winter, then harvested in late spring, early summer, uh, and things like your corn, sunflowers, some of these other crops, which shows up as being planted in the depths of winter. Not that there really is a depths of winter in Western Australia, is there? Uh, but, you know, the harvesting and that comes through in that but it's nice to see a custom one um any feedback let us know because uh disturbs in chat so sure he would appreciate that but it is nice to have something a little bit different and a little bit more suited to at least to australia even if it's not quite uh, new south wales scott george <laughs> did you set your alarm again my friend or uh did you stay up this time nice to see you in here don't feel like you have to hang out uh but good to have you here buddy Better than the base game, yeah, that's the main thing, eh? Disturbed. Absolutely. Now, what are we going to do? We have our hay. We mowed some hay the other day. So, we've got that all that was tetted and dried out, so we need to go and one row that up. We've got a baler, as you would have seen in the screen now. We've got the uh, Eastern Baler by 4D Modding. Staying with the New Holland theme on that one. That looks very nice. I had a trial, I had a little test with it actually, because it can come with an accumulator on the back to stack three bales side by side. Um, but for me, they wouldn't offload. I don't know, it's the first time I'd used it and I couldn't be bothered trying to figure it out myself. So uh, we're just going to go with just dropping the bales and we'll pick them up. Um, and after our conversation last week, TJ, uh, other TJ Farmer, who's not here yet, um, 
we've gone and replaced the mower with a New Holland one as well, rather than the default Icon was it? Kavernland one I think. So yeah, we've got that. We've got a weight and a bale fork there to go and pick up some bales. So that is our plan. Martin, how you doing buddy? Nice to see you. Sorry I couldn't have the pole to cover off every geographical region for you. Um, I didn't know you were South African though, so if I saw you in chat I would have counted you. Don't you love the footstep sounds as well? Gravel. Puddles. Pretty cool, eh? One thing, one of the biggest improvements I reckon is 22 is the audio. Legion, hey Dim, nice to have you here as well. Morning, welcome along. Good morning from South Africa, good morning to you. Good evening from New Zealand. Nice to have you here as well. Hopefully, TJ, that is the plan. Uh, it is in with Giants for testing. So, uh, Fox is trying to get it through to be available. On all platforms, which would be pretty cool. It'd be great to have a Australian map on uh, on the mod hub and available for console players. So let's just uh, jump straight into this, getting this all wind road up, so we can make it start on the bailing. Now, the one thing the growth calendar, the changed growth calendar, does do is it changes when we can plant and harvest crops. So we just have to keep that in mind as well. Ah, uh, there you go. And disturbed will be having that growth file released over the weekend. It's really easy to install. Um, it is only for PC players, unfortunately. But if you're playing on a map and wanted to have a slightly different growth calendar, maybe play on a map that you wanted to simulate Western Australian conditions. Um, it's, it took literally took me five minutes. For this map, I had to change one yet line of XML um, because it didn't have a custom growth calendar in it. Other than that, it was uh, pretty easy. I do have GPS it's good. It's easier to chat to you guys and not concentrate on where we're going all the time. Donald, you were starting to run out of YouTube here at work. Well, I am uh, don't know if your boss will be happy, but I'm happy that I can fill the void. Alright, I reckon we'll let's set our course up here on this edge. We'll get our GPS turned on there. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I've done that I wanted to explain to you, but I'm pretty sure I covered it all off. The changes to our equipment, uh, the trucks, the NOAA plates, and the growth calendar. So I think that should just about cover it. Sorry, Afuna, you. That, I should have had African, shouldn't I? My apologies. I can't add in any more falls the cat on uh, YouTube. I'm sorry. But that's three, I'll keep a running total. If you're in African country, uh, let me <laughs> write a comment, we'll keep a, we'll keep a, uh, keep a tab on it. That's three so far anyhow. Just to stay drunk, welcome. Great to see you here as well. Even if you are a Vegemite fan. Uh, Brett, if you're still listening, I did see you comment about some Apex. Rolling. Ah, it's a good distraction, isn't it? Just having it playing on the playing on a screen beside you. There's a dual monitors in that at the moment. I think I've said it before. I quite often have videos playing when I'm recording as well. There's quite a lot of downtime just uh, doing tasks that you might montage or time lapse, and uh, nice just to have something on the side screen. obviously no update on testing for this either yet, uh, still obviously going through the Giants testing list, it hasn't made it onto the list yet so it can't have been tested, but uh, when was it submitted? I think the 22nd of February, so we're still still within that 15 or 20 days that they're trying to get things tested on at the moment. Of course bear in mind I know Hox is a uh, shift worker and he's often week on week off type thing I think, and can't always respond to any questions they have either. Uh, I wondered if you'd turn up Anzac, how are you? Here to criticise my uh, wind rowing and headlands and all that aren't you?
Are you going to start a let's play on this or Elk Mountain? I'm going to keep this one going for a while, TJ. Um, just be a bit of a series that we live stream on a Wednesday night. Um, Deer Creek's getting close to finished, so I'm, I'd love to do something on Elk Mountain. I want to try and make sure I do something that's uh, unique to what others are doing. See, our good friend up. This Jeep is already on there as well with his roleplay series that he started out. Um, I was thinking about doing a forestry and mining type series, uh, a little akin to old macro series I did uh, beginning of last year. Maybe do a bit more time lapse than that with the forestry. Break it up, very, you know, do time lapse and then a bit of talking and then a bit of time lapse, but we'll see. Um, Mining's a lot of fun actually, I don't know if anyone watched my Terra Farm mining how-to video for Elk Mountain that I put out a couple of days ago to show you how to use it, but mining is with um, Terra Farm a lot of fun. Michael Trinity, how you doing? Welcome, good to see you. Watch Evenflow if you need a good laugh. I think Alien Jim will make Spectacle Island for 22. I don't know, actually, James. I haven't actually heard what his plans are beyond um, beyond what he's done with No Man's Land. I think it was No Man's Land first, and then he was doing the No Man's Land placeables, which were all out and obviously released now. So I don't know if he's got something he's working on in the background or what the story is there. It's interesting. Some map makers, modders, creators. Are very open and uh, that about what they're doing and others can be quite secretive. Which works both ways I suppose. There's always that nice surprise when something new comes out that you're not expecting. Um, and you, you know, not caught up with over promising and under delivering if people have been following progress. But at the same time it's also nice to get that hype built up. Train addict is funny Aussie that runs around cleaning. So I think I've heard of him before, I haven't watched it. You won't. I'm not going to say any names, will I? I, do, I, I know what you mean. G'day, John, how you doing? Nice to have you here, hope you're doing well. Sounds good, Legion. Thanks for hopping in briefly. Hope you uh, have a good day at work. And, uh, catch up with you again sometime. The stream stopped and you had to rejoin. Ah. I do have a little yellow and red water couple of warnings actually at the moment. It fixes itself. Saves on the when it's being exactly. And it's a hard one too, like, um, you know, you release something and give it to content creators or anyone to do previews on too early, then the hype can be overdone and by the time it is released something else has come out and snuck out that people are more excited about, but you lose that, you lose that initial buzz I suppose. You feel at home John, nice. I must admit, Hox has done a great job catching the Aussie, uh, Aussie feel of this map, I really do like it. <laughs> Different essays there I think, Martin and, and Michael. <laughs> Oh no, sorry, Michael, no Africa in the poll there mate, you got one from South Africa. Oh, sorry, I missed that, you are from South Africa. Yep, that's four, we're four Africans now. Oh, sorry if it did drop out. I do have an error. I wonder what's going on with my internet. Lots of buffering. Have a quick look. Actually, there's nothing doing in the background. I'll tell you what, my wife's. That down. We don't have any downloads or anything going. I can't. I won't see anything. Double check that Steam's not doing downloading an update on a game. It doesn't normally when you're in a game. Uh, 
Nope, nothing in that queue. Hmm. We'll just have to hope it sorts itself out. There's nothing I can actually. Let me just check actually that I'm on my right internet. Yep, that's all connected up to the right one. Hmm. It's obviously not very strong because maybe my phone's defaulted to a different connection. Doing a quick speed test on my phone through the same internet just to see what it's like. That's a little bit. It should be alright. Getting lots of drop frames actually in uh, OBS. Hmm. We'll persevere, we'll see how we go. Lots of buffering. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can uh, keep things running. Even I'm getting buffering now on my end. I don't know what I might do, let's just have a quick look at something else. My other... I've still got two internet. My other connection's looking better than this one, I'll just quickly change it and see what happens. Hmm. Solar Flare messing with YouTube. Solar Flare probably messing with uh, the Starlink. Either that or the uh, threats of cyber attacks and that are taking it down. Alright, I'm just going to, if I drop out, I mean, I haven't dropped out yet properly, but I'm just going to change to different connection. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I change while we're streaming. Seems better, channel. Better, Mornay. Okay. Let's just see how it goes. I've got a green light on OBS now. YouTube's still. I've been a little bit of a pissy fit. Donald, you're up at 2am in Texas, so thanks for hanging out with us. James is up in Oklahoma, it would be even later for you, wouldn't it, James? Hey Phil, how are you doing? Welcome along. Ah, it's just gone red again. Frustrating. Need some more birds to run on the treadmill, yeah. There is lots in South from lots of South Africans are here again, Martin. Nice to have you all here. I'm sorry I Oops, with a rough patch there in the corner of the field. Sorry I have admitted you from the uh, from the poll that was not intentional, it was just a limitation on the number of um, options I could have in it. when I don't move the tractor it might prove to be a slow stream though, yeah, yeah, that would be right, Kartik. Running better now? Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I'm still dropping frames in OBS though, what worries me. No worries Disturb, thanks for, thanks for stopping in mate, pleased I was able to uh, show off your little growth calendar there. We'll uh, catch up with you again next time. Or if you manage to make it back a little bit later, cool too. Hmm. 
It's frustrating. Very frustrating. Particularly after last week when we were pretty much uh, no issues whatsoever. Are oh, you working? Ah, oh, right. That's work time for you then, James. No, we're still going here anyhow, we're getting across the field reasonably quickly. Nice when you've got a decent width, uh, wind rod there. I'm actually looking forward to trying the baler out. I haven't, like I said before, I haven't used that uh, Houston baler yet. It should be a little bit of fun. There's actually quite a bit of wrapping done around our part of the world too, Anzac. I think after all that rain we had a month ago, there was a lot of grass growth, which uh, people weren't stocked for, so. <laughs> Scott. Oh, uh, you're a legend, Scott. Right, I'm... Ah, oh, why does OBS keep popping? Legacy, you were here too, didn't even see you. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for stopping in as well. Appreciate you all, especially all you from the US have uh, stayed up late or... set an alarm like some of you did last week. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And again, apologies for the apologies for the connection. We're two greens now, though. Two greens. Let's see if we let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get it any better. Still need rain here. It's only green, not growing. Yeah, we're the same actually. Anzac, it's um, it's starting to dry off again really quick. There's a real big burst of growth there for a wee while. Um, Enough for people to grow some grass at home. Holding for life, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Welcome along. So, we're twin greens. We're green, green on OBS and we're green on YouTube. So, I'm hoping, like heck, things have caught up with themselves and we stay like this. But time will tell. But for those of you who've hung around, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Morning, you are quite welcome, my friend. It's, uh, it's a good time, better time for me to stream too, so I'm pleased to see that uh, it's suiting you on the bottom part of Africa there, and uh, obviously our Kiwi and Aussie friends, as well as those in the UK have been able to hang around. Always lurking, the logo will throw everyone off for a while. <laughs> I like it though, mate, it looks good. Very nice logo. We'll talk so much. Do actually on Discord sometime or another stream, who knows? Now you hate it, like, you get all flustered when something like this happens, but it's completely against what you planned for. I'm actually feeling very hot at the moment. So we're going to buy a flatbed trailer I think for the uh, truck and we'll load the bales onto that once we've got them all done. At least that's my intent anyhow. UK should be an hour behind us local time. Yeah so UK if it's what 9.30 local, uh, 9.30 from there it should be 8.30 AM for them. Starlink's really not playing ball tonight. Captain Nagel, hey Uggsy, how's your evening this Wednesday? Well, it's good to be here streaming, buddy, but uh, the internet is not being very friendly to me tonight. 
But uh, yeah, things are just not, not performing how I want them to, which is annoying. But we're still here, we're persevering. The diehards are here and persevering too. I got it right, Phil, Kartek. Awesome. Coffee o'clock, isn't it? Coffee time. Breakfast time. How you doing anyhow, Captain Kiwi? Oh, nice to have you here. Hold on for life, I really like the Western Aussie series. You should bring something similar back to 22. I would love to. Um, we just need a little bit, a little bit more reliability with play when running multiple tools and a big map a big map to do it on oops red bull time chin yeah I wonder, if, I wonder if we're having issues with wider global connections or something kiwi my wife actually complained about it earlier and I was like no no we're fine on my internet we can find but I hadn't tried streaming at that stage gaming joy how you doing nice to see you thanks for that stopping in looking forward to this map coming out I am too actually I'm looking forward to seeing it in other people's hands and seeing what they come up with what they do on it so many different uh different options for the farmland and things like that so Right, well this hasn't taken us very long to get done at all actually, which is nice. Buffering seems to be a thing, yeah it is. Uh, frustrating that's all. Well, I, don't, I don't want someone new to come and join the channel and watch and uh, get put off by it, but damned if you do and damned if you don't. line out here and try and tidy up this last little bit. There we go, right, that didn't take very long at all. Now I'm just going to have a quick look again here, see if I can change. I'm going to change my internet again. I wouldn't do it before, quite sure why. There we go. Let's see if that helps. This is the internet I used to stream on, so we'll uh, give it a minute and hopefully it'll catch up with what we're doing. see if OBS can sort itself out. Here we go, OBS is green. Let's see if this will settle down a little bit better. And YouTube to sort itself out now. You see my pointer? <laughs> it's gone Donald. Well, interesting. And look at the uh, stand. It threw me when I was disconnecting it before. Looks better now. Oh, fingers crossed it's going to stay that way. Uh, right, unfold that. Look at that sound. Lovely. It's a bit loud. Too close. Get loud down now. I'm just gonna check. Those bales are we set up. I wanna do the biggest ones. 240s. Not wrapping them. Let's see how this goes. All 
Alright, fingers crossed that might have everything sorted out. Mornay, you and a friend of mine were busy making a South African map. If all goes well, we'll be on console too. Oh, that's awesome. That would be cool to see Mornay. Is that the 4D modding one? Cartet? Yeah, it is indeed. It certainly is. It feels too big behind this tractor, but uh, it only needs 130 horsepower, so... It's not too bad a size. Plus you guys don't want to see how many frames I've dropped so far with 30% frames drop. I just can't figure it out. Cannot figure out what is going on. Going wrong here. That's a beautiful mod, isn't it? Just the options in it is just incredible. I had trouble getting the accumulator to go um, in a, the parkland accumulator to work on the back of it when I tested it out, so we've just gone without it, you know. I hear there is going to be a console versus PC multiplayer for the month of April. Ken plays aside, maybe something you might be interested in. Oh, where's that happening? Okay, we haven't heard about that. Right, so how many bales do we reckon we're going to get? We've got almost around, well, probably halfway around the headland, and we've got, I must be about three. Just making our fourth one now. So it'll be interesting to see how it all goes. We've got OneDrive. No, I don't use OneDrive, Kartik. No, I've checked all the checked everything. I think downloading. It looks like it's settled down a little bit. I'm getting better, better colours on my OBS and YouTube at the moment, so we might be at a slightly happier place. Fingers crossed. Let's get our fingers crossed, and then we can uh, carry on with things and enjoy the rest of the stream without worrying too much about what my connection is like. Stressing about it. Well, the only thing I can really think of is Mrs. Uh, Zargsy's watching a movie or streaming something on her phone in bed, but that normally wouldn't be a problem either. More stable? That's good. Touch wood, fingers crossed, it stays like this. So if you've hung out here with me through these uh, ups and downs of connection, thank you very much for staying around. If you've only just joined, welcome along. Thank you for stopping in and uh, joining the stream. Had a few technical issues, but hopefully we're through the other side now. Let's see. Let's just carry on. Looking forward to trying loading these actually. I love doing my loader work. It's a, um, the forks I've got though it looks ridiculously big on this tractor. Like everything does actually. Oh yeah. I'll take a look. I'll take a look Kiwi. What Martin's message has been blocked? I don't know what that is. I'm sure, uh, Trinoc will get that shown soon.
There we go. I'll hide over here so I can't even see the stats on that. No, I won't worry about it. Farmer Klein and Driver 53 doing okay. I'll have a check to Farmer Klein. Find out a little bit more about it. Scuba Steve, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome along. Can't wait for this map to be out, it looks awesome. It certainly does, it certainly is awesome. Um, thoroughly enjoying the opportunity to play on it and looking forward to seeing it in your hands as well. So we'll just have to keep our fingers, toes, everything crossed that giants like it as well and uh, give it the seal of approval. Yeah, it is a solid additive. So if you were doing um, bales, so the mod comes with. Um, oops, we're in the shop. Uh, we're in our garage. I don't want to do that. Um, there's heaps of options on it, like just in terms of even brands, Eastern, New Holland, a whole, a whole heap of different options. I see the Challenger. The one we went for the New Holland case, um, but yeah, just different options and bale shoots. It's the just the decorative things at the fire extinguisher somewhere there. You can have them on both sides, um, but then there's also like you say the silage of things, and it does up to the 2.4 meter bales. Then also as part of the pack, this wrapper for the in-game bales, but it also does the uh, larger ones. Up to 2.2 meters, I think it is in there. Yeah, 1.8 and 2.2 2. 2 meter long, the eastern one. So you can do silage with it. Pretty cool. And that's the plan. I think we might, might try and do some silage in that other grass field there. Three, four times maps and testing for console. Yeah, so unfortunately, I think it's a bit unfortunate Giants left that in the, um, in the list for. So, um, word straight from Ola Holdar's mouth, who's um, responsible for Renabu Giants, actually asked him for a cop latest copy of the map, and they're just running it through their testing setup to see how it performs on Giant on uh, console. There's no intention or anything at this stage for any maps to be released. Um, I, I think they're just testing it. I guess there's an appetite for people to have four times maps on console, so they're probably just pushing the limits with their testing programs to see how it would perform if they did ever release my console but um, I wouldn't get your hopes up at this stage. Pota CZ, hello, welcome along. Is Nightbot, has everything had a hissy fit channel? You had seen that for yeah, cool. good to know. I know some people got very excited about the fact there were all these four times maps in there and I think the creators are like, probably a little bit disappointed that they were shown because that was never going to be the never going to be the intent. Let's see if I can give Nightbot a brief. Without missing anything. Oops, missing something. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and do that now, aren't I? Why men don't multitask? Alright, give it a try now, it might work. Nightbots, nightbots working, but. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if they do manage to get out, get some four times maps onto console. Um, but they'd have to be pretty particular with it, I suppose. Um, I think it's to do with the memory in the consoles, and they don't want to overload those games. Um, 
I'm saying that, like a PS5, and that's the, I think the biggest problem is that they've kept farming simulator, and rightly so, um, compatible with the older game consoles, the PS4s, Xbox Ones, and those. That's probably been the bigger issue because, you know, a, a PS5 is probably more powerful than a computer was when the FS19 came out three or four years ago. So I think um, that's the main reason, is just that the, the memory and that that the console has. But like it's interesting looking at map sizes, the map sizes I've seen lately are generally pretty small from a file perspective. This map's very small, very efficient. And in fact the um, Kenworth truck mod is a bigger file map file is. So just to put it in perspective. Go. Discord's, Discord's going, just needs to give Nightbot a reminder. Just like all the improvement, yeah. On Skyrim, they've got mods that take a lot. Skyrim's not on, is that not on console though, is it, James? Like some of the, some of the maps that came out for, uh, and I know Nitro did, and he'd, he'd openly admit it, and some of his maps that he did for FS19 were over a gig in, in size, they were massive. But they were big maps and really highly detailed. Yeah, I, I think, you know, they're, they're doing the right thing, they're in the right direction. Interestingly enough, um, um, some guy posted on his Discord that uh, hiring advertising for staff for a project in 2024 using Unity, I think it was. So whether they are considering for the next iteration of Farming Simulator to change engines, or whether it's a new project, or what that's about, is anyone's guess. Led to a lot of tinfoil hats. Well, I hope to say, hopefully, we've sorted out the internet. I'm having a little bit of redundancy there. It seems to be a little bit better than it was. Or how you guys are all finding it. And this cross is a less buffering than there was. Yeah, there you go. That's right, there it was. It's 22, it's 2022. It's 2021. Alright, who's been counting the bales? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so far. No issues, oh, good to hear, thank you mate, appreciate that. Yeah, 100% Jason, that's why they did it, there's, you know, there's five times as many PS4s and as there is PS5s out there probably, if not more. Um, that would be st that would have been stupid with the game being released so soon on the heels of PS5s being released and the global shortage of those. Um, that would be the stupidest thing they could have done would be to ignore, ignore that. It's good that we're all educated here and can draw that conclusion and not just throw our arms in the air and go, why is that not on console? Who plays games on console anyways? History. I still do, Donald. I've got mates who still play on the PlayStation. Brett who was here before. He's still lurking or whether he's gone off to race in Gran Turismo or not, but um It's still it's it's easy. Sometimes it's just easy to just boot the console up, pick up the controller and you're in a game. Sometimes I can spend I can do something in this and break something and end up spending hours fixing it and figuring out what I broke instead of actually doing what I wanted to do. 
This vibe's the next block, yeah. You do, because PC hates you. <laughs> I was, yeah, literally until I got until I got Farming Simulator, I was exclusive on uh, console. And then I had a work laptop, which was powerful enough to run this on PC, and I got the Epic version for free. For this one too. Here, Mario, Mario Kart edit. Here you go. Horses for courses, though, eh? And live by your decisions, and I can find about them. You got a console as well, Michael. I've got every PlayStation, not not every single iteration of them that have come out, but I've got a, I've still got them all, right from the play, original PlayStation, the rectangle grey ones with the uh, tilt-up lid, and right through to the PS5. Plans for a shed we've got to uh, turn it into a bit of a gaming room, man cave, studio. I want to be able to have all my consoles on display. What part of New Zealand am I in? Your wife's in Whangarei. Oh, your wife's family's in Whangarei. It'd be weird if your wife were and you weren't. Um, well, yeah, I'm in the Manawa too. So it's about two hours, a little under two hours drive north of Wellington. Yeah, I am. Yeah. So you're right, Captain Q. I forgot. Lots of my friends, when they, you know, when you upgrade from previous version to new one, they'd always trade their games. And I've kept all my games. I've got all my PS1 games and everything. My wife hates it. And she'd agree with you that I'm a hoarder. But it would make a great man cave. What was my first PlayStation game? Uh, Gran Turismo 1. Yeah, you can't hide in your computer from your wife. <laughs> yep, pretty sure it was Green Turismo. I'm, I'm gonna say Green Turismo. I'm pretty sure it was what I got first. High school, me and my mates used to fresh living daylights out of there. I can do it like you're supposed to, and it doesn't work, and you sit down and do the same as I did and work, so I just have to get someone to do it for me. Sorry for long chats, right? Hey, Denmark. Nice to see you. Are you uh, pre-work, breakfast, and that, or uh, what's happening in your part of the world at the moment? Oh, you out on site already? Tekken. Tekken was your first game. Too. Monster Rancher. Do you know I downloaded from Nostalgia, and I thought I might do a little. I was tempted to do a little video, I downloaded Sim Farm. Who remembers Sim Farm? It popped up somewhere. I think did I read about it and read it or something? But I found a DOS version of Sim Farm that was running on an emulator. So I've downloaded that. That brought back some memories. It sounds for the Baylor, yeah. That's fantastic, aren't they? Everything when you started it up, turned it on, folded it, everything was pretty cool. Toka Touring Cards, that's another good one. Colin McCrae Rally, still one of the best rally games. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's a cult classic, it's been on just about every console and every iteration of console, isn't it? Not using the def mod. No, I haven't used that one yet, will I? Honestly, I've found it really hard and I've probably been a little bit selective with mods as well. Um, I know the mess that my mod folder got into on this. 19, so I've been a little bit more careful with what I'm downloading. Olden man, how you doing? Good evening to you, welcome along. Off work today, Mrs. is going to a funeral to school runs. Ah, sorry, he just had to go to a funeral, mate. So plenty of time on uh, Farmers Only Club once the kids are at school, is it? Or has she got a list of goals for you to do? Riddle Hurt was one of the best games. First one. <laughs> DOS version, that was a 3 and a 4 inch block, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Just a few scraps to pick up. How much do we need? I reckon we can get 12% of a bale off one of these bits I've missed. Hayden, how you doing? Nice to see you, welcome along. Crazy taxi. 
All these old games. We had a, uh, what was the first console when we had a Commodore 64? We pulled that, um, not pulled that up, that Sega Master System too, with Alex Kidd. That was the one game, well not the one game, but that was one game I just spent so long and I could never beat, when I was a young fella, I could never beat the last boss. This day I still remember never getting past him. So I'm not having any views. Ah, I might check it out. Oh no, yeah. I'm not saying it would have any issues or anything. It's just more that I have been not keeping up exactly with everything. I'm trying to find some more grass in this field. Let's go and have a look. A bit over in the far corner. I've got these two bits. It's a long way to go to get an extra 10% out of this bale though, isn't it? Uh, Master System had, yeah, had cartridge this year. Maybe in the top. Paperboy, oh Paperboy, isn't that? That's another one I think I've downloaded at some stage on the, the DOS version of. And I'm uh, wasting my time here I think. Is this on console? <laughs> Not yet, Holden Man. Not yet. But if you stand on your leg for long enough, it's got to be left leg. If you stand on one leg for long enough, and you put the tip of your finger to your nose, you point your other arm out to the north northwest, and you find the evening star, and you hold it there for long enough, it's still not going to be out on console any quicker. But I'd still like to see you try and do that. Right. We're giving up, are we? Still with a little season nursery ladder for the guys got housework and Bob's price will get on. Pums only. Nearly cracked the 500k. I saw you were getting close, mate. That's a solid effort. I think I've still got a. Uh, probably a might. So, speaking of sounds, listen to this one. This one's awesome. So good. Such a good, such a good mod. <laughs> you don't rely on your deer stick. No, we won't. Right, we've got to get a trailer. We've got to get that truck out. And uh, then we're going to go and start doing some loading. And then we'll see how good I am. I'm going to concentrate on chat and load a trailer of bales at the same time. Hey, Ford AK, okay, done hiding in Blender but hanging out with the views. Thanks, buddy. Nice to see you. I hear you might have been uh, helping Mr. Fusion Sims out a little bit. We've run into a little bit of roadblock with what he's trying to do. Got any smart ideas on how to add spray types that would normally end up in a map directory to a to a game as a mod? We're going to strike some issues with that one. What GPU am I using? I have got a 3070. On a, Still can't get 100% on your crops and did everything that I saw in the video on how to do it. Yeah. Alright, leave that there. Go and jump on the truck. Vent. Need some CRC for the hinges. It's an older it's an older model ki kiwi. Oh Michael. Thanks buddy for hanging out, nice to see you, um, pleasure to have you here. I'll make sure I count that uh, South African vote you gave me. Look at that truck. Downside on this side it's got that little, well, it's a window, but uh, it was very hard to get the get the name in there. I need to do something different on this side, but looks good on this side. Uh, I think it's 1080 Holder Man. Head down to the shop and go and put the trailer up just because I want to set the truck for a drive.
it was a bit of a mission to try and get the uh, orange to wrap around across the top and down the back. Oh, look at those deer. Good thing. We've got the bars on the front. We'll be pulling, pulling fear off those for a while. Take the window out. Could do. There's something, I th I'm not sure how it's modelled to get it taken out, mate. That's not true. Does sound nice, doesn't it? Very, 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 very nice noise. Do you know, I, I was expecting to hop out on the left-hand side because I'm so used to every other vehicle and FS being left-hand drive. Alright, let's take a look. On the wrong side. On the perfectly right side. I was driving on the wrong side of the road, I was too. Oh my goodness. That's automatic, do you know, because I've played so many American maps. Automatically drive on the wrong side of the road. Right, where is this trailer? I've got to find it. Uh, easier. Uh, chrome, chrome plate. We're going to go with look. White decal. There's reflectors on. Main color's got to be. Yeah, she might go, might go white. It should see other trailers, doesn't it? That's better. License plate. Who didn't see my license plates earlier? This. New South Wales number plates. Change. I think the Onyx black looks the best. It looks a little bit weathered. Oops, I didn't turn it on though, did I? License plate. Put it on the back. That's perfect. Right, let's buy that. Also, TV can't handle it like if you street street. Ah. Oh, because do you use the YouTube app on your TV or something? Hold on me. It's 100% the right side, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. Very Kiwi truck. It's funny now, actually, you notice these sort of, you know, you notice trucks like this around a little bit more. How much space there between the, uh, Headboard in the back, in fact, that hose is clipping. I don't think this doesn't have a slideable. Some trucks have a slideable uh, fifth wheel on them, don't they? One doesn't. Yeah. Turn a blind eye to that one. Right, I'll make sure I drive right back on the left side, which is the right side, isn't it? I think that the fact I drive on the left hand side of the road every single day it'll come natural but it's by default when you're in the farming simulator you drive normally on the right hand side. needs upgrading. You're still talking about your TV here, aren't you? Which is the correct side? I don't think there is one, Donald. Driving on the left is the correct side of the road. Let's go and figure out where we're going to park up. Well, these, I didn't actually count how many bales we got in the end. Anyone? We'll load a truck up and see how many. We'll park there, we'll get some loaded up, and then we can get over to the other side of the field. So, that's a good looking truck. I was stoked with how that turned out actually.
Very happy. Right, let's go and grab the tractor. Start getting these picked up and see how my loading goes. So we've got the weight on the back, so hopefully, 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 we can uh, take two bales at once. It's a worldwide problem, James. We've got huge potholes here at the moment. Our roads are terrible. Rural's not too bad. But in the city, it's just dreadful. Yeah, only just handling it, isn't it? Only just. I wouldn't want to go for three, that's for sure. Don't break too hard. Less than 20% drive on the left. Less than 20% still use the Imperial system though too, don't they? If I braked too hard, we'd go for a tumble, I know that much. Let's try and move that top bale across a little bit too. This would be my favourite, one of my favourite things to do on the farm is stack bales on the on trucks. There we go. Cars were driving on the left side first. You're probably right. Jonathan L, how you doing? Welcome along. Nice to have you here. Sinclair Farms. Nice to see you as well. Thank you for joining the stream. Word of warning, my internet connection has not been the friendliest this evening. Um, so if you do get a little bit of buffering or anything like that, my sincere apologies. We've... Uh, Tried to fix it, and I think we've got it as best as it's been. It's not been too bad. I certainly haven't been having the lag disconnects that I was getting earlier, the, the buffering quite se severely as it was a little bit earlier. But that's the joys of living rural and not having any fibre available to us. Relying on satellites. Please address your complaints to. Uh, SpaceX or Starlink, care of Elon Musk, Hawthorne, California. Move over a little bit, get a bit square. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that tilt on that's pretty quick. Right, let's uh, throw a strap over this before to out of control. In cab driving, hold him in. Ooh, now you're asking a lot. Let's give it a go. I have my head tracking set up. I haven't finished doing that yet. Let's do that. Loved the cotton harvest on Western Australia, did you? That was a lot of fun. Yep. We need to. Uh, we need another big map to be able to do that. So downside to in cab is I can't see if I was lined up properly. Then I don't think I put realistic cab view. Oh, I do. I do have realistic cab view on? I 
can't quite lean over far enough. See the edge of the bales. And it's a bit hard to use a controller and press shift all at the same time. But we'll try, we'll give it a go. Because of where I work, we use standard and metric. I find myself using metric. What car was it had the wheel in the middle of the cab? Yeah, it was the McLaren F1. Same car that uh, Ron Atkinson owned. And didn't he write it off? I want to say. See again. I need to be a little bit further that way. You know you're making me concentrate too much. Oh, see, so I got a little bit too far on. I'm gonna have to go and push the other ones. Captain Kiwi, night muddy. Nice to uh, have you hanging out with us again. Good to see you. We'll uh, hopefully catch you next week. Yes, yeah, certainly will be some more. Hopefully with um, uh, not so bad or internet. Right, let's try and see if we can give this a, a little shove on from this side. We head tracking would be useful. Yeah, I wouldn't have to use my butt. Um, try and use fingers on shift, would I? All right. Love that ratchet sound too. Another quality of life improvement. I actually, uh, now here's this, here's something you can't say very often. I bought a McLaren today. I also bought a John Deere today. That was a big spender. Bought a supercar and a tractor. going to come in a little box with lots of plastic parts and clip together but it's McLaren and a John Deere all the same you're laughing but great job <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm only doing the one bale holding me and the one one bit we'll be here all night if I try to do the whole lot of cab That's interesting, I'll push that top bail then. Uh, uh. Right, where are our next closest ones? Over that way. We're not going to get them all on the truck, are we? Thank you, Mona. Appreciate that. Yeah. It is bad. Just got it on the trailer before we pulled a wheelie. I still need to play with it properly, right? Get it, uh, get it set up, and actually use it, because I just haven't. What's my favourite new feature in FS22? Ooh. Um, I 
I honestly, I honestly can't pin one down. I love the new sounds. The 3D textures in there are fantastic. Um, the multiplayer and load times. Oh my goodness, if you've played multiplayer in FS19. 22 is just incredible. Um, what else is there? Truck. Strap those. Truck on. Or they'll go flying. Um, yeah, what else is there? I'm, I'm sure there's dozens of things I'm missing. The fact that the heaters, um, lock onto the heater trailers very good um production chains i think production chains you know we talked about console earlier but production chains i think uh game changer from a console player because it just gives you so many more things you couldn't do and you just started to see the way that people are adding features you play out able to use that mechanic um i see there's a corn dryer and testing list at the moment it is on the pc testing list but i wonder if you might not see it on the console testing list. You hate the transmissions? I haven't used them. Um, and that's, yeah, you know, I don't mind them because I don't have to use them. If I was forced to use them, then yeah, I agree. But um, the only time I've used it, and we were talking about it a little bit earlier on Discord, is the Rostal Mash with one cultivator. Well, that was a bit aggressive, but I got away with it. The Rostal Mash with one cultivator just does not pull up the hills at all. Your favourite is the production change, Jonathan. Nice. Yeah, I think I think that might be one of the one of the biggest ones. Even things like the new greenhouses that came out the other yesterday, today, on Mod Hub, where you can add seeds and just get actually, you know. That was one thing I thought it was just weird that you just had to add water to these greenhouses. So many more options for making it more immersive, but you know, rely on the models to do that. Which I don't. What res screen do I? I'm actually playing in 2K. What is it? Two five sixty by fourteen forty. Yeah, that's right. 1280, 1280 and an eighty double. Seems right in my head. Two four four. No, I can't remember exactly. But I capture in 1080. So OBS capture in 1080. So I'm using a, I think it's a 27 inch monitor, I think. I've got a Titan monitor, 27 inch curved gaming monitor. And then my second monitor is a 24 inch curved monitor. Figure out. Yeah, that's the a problem with one of the roster mashes. I definitely know that. The manual. Oh, it's not very tidy. Okay. Then manual does a heaps better job. The new sounds. The new sounds are cool. It's just the little sounds, like we were running across the uh, yard, and you know you could hear water as you splashed through a paddle, puddle, and you just were running. And I hadn't noticed that before. Oh, on my face, isn't it? It's warm here tonight, so we've had our front door wide open. Fortunately, there's nothing much that can come inside that's going to hurt you. Just annoying. This top bale being a bit offset is going to be annoying, but it's fine, we'll deal with it. I'm following those the wrong way to unhook them. Here we go. Alright, two more and then we'll be full. And how many are we going to have left? Two, four, five. 
No idea. No. Three left. I have to put one top, I think. Uh, have to uh, add up how many we ended up with total then. One, two, three, four, five, so there's 20 bales on the back. Must be 23. 23 all up. Hey, Crocmoose, how you doing? Nice to have you here, welcome along. You've joined just in time to see me. Oh, I'm going to pull out of that. Wreck my bale stacking by putting the last two bales on. Come back a little bit. Get slightly better angled, I think. Oh, fair enough. Actually, bail handling physics would be be better. Take the last four bales off. Put three on the other way. Then put the four back. Last four bales off. Three on the other way. Put the four back. I'm confused. They're hurting my brain. Hold on, man. Ford Egg. What are you sharing a link of? Intrigued. Ooh. I am very intrigued now. At least I pause that to go and have a look. Yo, yeah, well you've probably made a good point. Oh, uh, oh no! Look at that. that load is going to get up there. No worries. We've got no height restrictions around where we are. We'll be fine. Take the last four bales off. Turn the last four bales. Ah, so yeah, I see what you mean. But that stick out wider. Ah, oh, put three on the other way. Yeah, okay. I know what you mean. I think. I'm not going to do it. There is room to get. Right, unscraped, unscraped everything. I reckon I can push four, three on. Uh, two on the back there. And then we just have one left. Two bells sideways. Let's see. Two bells sideways across the end there, you reckon? Give it a go. I'm feeling brave. Let's see if we can push them on a little bit further and put these on. From the end. Spot the concentration in my face, stack them on, make them at the end. Oh. Alright, let's see how this goes. Steady, steady, sassy. Come me down. Oh, we're getting a four wheel spin on, look at that. Look at the power of the little T6. They're not, uh, they're not going to strip. Yeah, they will. Look at that. Yeah, you have little faith. I know what you mean though. I should have put that one on first and then the rest would have strip, wouldn't they? Bits at ships, I say. Oh, 
Oops. Done. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, if you're a good trucker, you put a hook on that one and you go up diagonally across here and down and then one up the other way. Look at that. Beautiful. It'll be fine. Exactly, Mark. Not bad. Now I'm going to find a stray bale somewhere, aren't I? Got them all? Good thing I didn't get that extra one. Right, we're going to sell these. We're going to sell the hay. Is it worth selling? 52. So let's do the maths here. We've got 24 bales. Bring up my calculator. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, 22, 23 bales. And they were 8,000 litres each. 184,000 litres. $53 a pop. Oops. 184 times. 10 grand worth of. We're not selling these. Exactly, Holden man. Well, exactly. Not worth selling though, unfortunately. Alright, looks like we'll just back them in here. Maybe we'll have to, uh, have to get some animals. Let's set up a sheep pasture or something somewhere. There's sheep out in one of these fields. Could be a plan. I not thought about that. Alright, done. Done and done. And grab the tractor. Extra fast running. Beautiful. So Mr. Forward Egg, that uh, energy shed looked mightily like a row unit. How many row units are you making? Right. Take this over here. Now we need to figure out Some options for some land lease. So, what time are we at? 20. We'll go for another 40 minutes. So, turn that off there. So, I think because I'm not sure, technically, yeah, it's updated. So, we've got these fields over here which are ready to harvest 22, 25, and 20. They got 22's oats, 25's canola, and 26 wheat. But I don't think we'll be able to harvest those now because we've changed the crop calendar. Wheat. So there. And canola. So we're not going to worry about doing a field we can buy. A uh, field we can do anything with. I mean the other thing is we could actually do some tillage in this field. Get something for the uh, bigger New Holland. But I want us to lease some field. <laughs> Any youngster than older man's the youngster. Funny. Um, I'm going to jump back and forth a little bit here. I think I'd look, actually, I looked at which few fields was I? I had a look the other day. I was thinking possibly up here, possibly over here. What do you think? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, neither do I. Just uh, making small talk while the chat was a little bit slow and quiet. Um, but are they all, they're all planted? Oh no, three's not planted. Maybe we could take four. Maybe we could at least field three because then we can go do some planting in that. 
Is that a custom jerk? It is Mornay, and we didn't talk about that. Uh, we talked about that a lot earlier. So um, Disturbed, who was in here a little bit earlier, he did one for Carmsden Farms um, a month or two ago when it first came out. And he, he was in chat last week and offered to do one for this map. So in the last week, he's put this together. And I've put it in just to have a look. It's based on Ningen Farms, which was a FS19 map, so which is a Western Australia. So it's a little bit off. Um, you're certainly probably on New South Wales. I don't think you'd be planting crops in January, February. Or sorry, winter, northern month. Um, in winter, which would be July, August. Um, I doubt any of those things would be being planted. And it's, it's more of a warmer climate, but uh, it is a custom one. Right, so back to what I was talking about. <laughs> back to what I was talking about. So field four, we least field four. Was that one that's going to be ready to harvest? Then? Was fertilized too. Might be a good one to lease what's put in it though. That is, is it sorghum? Yeah, sorghum. Let's lease those two fields. Four and three. We can go and cultivate three. We can harvest four sometime soon. So if we come down here, which is three and four, I need to remember that. Find our fields three, lease that one. So we pay a one off fee and then we lease it for that value. And field four, lease that one. Now, go back to the map. They're both, we go to X, they show up as being, by, um, being owned by us. We do only lease them. So, uh, cereals go in April to July. That's in New South Wales, Jason. Are you whereabouts are you based, mate? That off there for now. Gonna cheat. Uh, we'll buy something first. Let's have a look in our cultivator today. How horse what horsepower does this tractor have We've got? Got 500 horsepower. So, still wrong as we're moving into winter now. Yeah, I think it's because of the Western Australia. It's set up for Western Australia, which is probably a lot warmer. I think I know. I know. Disturbed was talking to. Um, talking to. Uh, TJ Farmer, who's making the Nelly Creek map, um, and he'd given a question on it. Oh, thank you very much for that subscription. Appreciate that. Uh, now, what am I trying to look for? Somewhere in here, I'll look in my downloads. Uh, the Tiger Mate, what does that require? 350 horsepower? Not a bad option. Runs at 12 miles per hour. It's nice and wide. Got this nine. It's not quite so demanding. The John Deere plow, 400 horsepower, 7.9 meters wide. Doesn't check whether the field needs plowing or not. A quick look at that. What does field three require doing to it? Does need plowing? I need lime after that. It does too. All right. Well, we might get that John Deere plow then. New South Wales, pretty much the whole country plants then earlier in Queensland and later in Tassie. Yeah, okay. Oh, do you want to, um, are you on Discord, mate? Have you joined my Discord? If you haven't and you do use Discord, you want to jump in there because I'd love to chat to you about it in a little bit more detail. Maybe look at customising that a little bit further with Disturbed and get one that, um, that does suit New South Wales a little bit better. Francois, good morning. Mellow greetings from the Netherlands. Yes, and it's probably a uh, an appropriate type of greeting at the moment, isn't it? But welcome along. Nice to have you here. Hope you are keeping it very well. All right, so we're going to get this in a good looking plough, isn't it? We'll buy that one. Now we'll cheat in a little bit. I'm going to get it. Delivered to the farm. The uh the dealer bought it out for us. Here it is. 
efficient efficient dealers around this part of the world. All right, there we go. It's too dry to try and grow anything over summer unless you use an integration. Gotcha. That makes sense. Right, well, let's go. What's the time? I think, how about we plow our little field here? Let's leave that one for next time, I think. I think we might, might take a wee bit of time to get this done. This is actually quite a bit, a bit bigger plow than I was expecting. So how much corn in that's grown in New South Wales? Decent much or not? Hmm, that's an interesting. It's ploughing. State of field is leaving behind us. Yeah, so it's plough and cultivate. So that's pretty clever. You can see that little bit of ploughed state in between, and then the cultivated. I can't remember who I got this mod from actually. Wish I could now and tell you who it was. But you can see we're ploughing here at the front and then uh, cultivating it at the end. That's pretty cool. Me and Aussie man that I follow. Nice mate. Appreciate that. done a pretty good job. I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, we'll set up a DPS course as we go along here. I get this weird creep sometimes like that, like I wasn't actually turning the camera. showed you the cloud and cultivated option there board, is that what you're talking about? I'm intrigued now, I'm gonna go find out mod credits are and while we're driving along here. 27.30 was it? More, more, more corn in the northern areas, some done for silage under irrigation. Claim into cultivation, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Um, JA Modding, who I had it whose the credits are in the mod description. I have to go back and refresh my memory on who that was. Is this one of the, um, are they one of the South American Brazilian guys maybe? I mean it makes sense, there's no reason you couldn't have the two different effects, is it? Have the you, know, you could pull, you could pull two implements, one that plowed and one that you know, it's kind of like how you can put a power harrow on the front of a tractor and plant on the back. It's doing exactly the same, but it's just doing it in one row, isn't it? Take a wee bit of time to do it. How many downloads of the um? HAC 5000 have you had? Yeah, interesting to know. Now that it's fully public. You guys haven't seen that. Ford Ag have released their uh, anhydrous caddy that we've used for a wee while. 
to all. It is available for anyone to go and download. To turn rocks off, we're going to end up with a whole lot of rock. Didn't think about that. Yeah. NM Welder, good morning to you. Welcome along. Nice to have you here. Yeah, it's going to take a wee while to do that big field, isn't it? That'll be a whole stream worth, I think. Twelve hundred with the public release about the same from the group. Cool. Good to see. Good to see you getting some support and love for it. Itch page is around 1500 downloads from 10k. Ah, oh, cool. So that's including the um, seed hawk and things that you've got on there. Nice numbers. Still, I still have to remember and pinch myself that there's been three million. Pinch myself, but there's been three million games sold. Oops. Three million copies of uh, 22 have been sold. It's a uh, pretty big number. In and well, you're stuck at work for another four and a half hours on call for 10 hours in another 14 hour shift. Well, that sounds tough. What do you do, mate? There's one downside to this, though. With play hours, when you turn, pivots away with you. You end up with a section that doesn't get done. Or if you lift up, there will always be a section that doesn't get done. Well, it's, it is crazy to think about, isn't it? Very, very much so. Turn that GPS on there. Right, of course. There we did. We'll square up perfectly. Oops, press control. Didn't turn on like it was meant to. Oh, you're a farm foreman for my dad and we're irrigating hay ground. Ah. Now I'm assuming from your good morning you must be... Oh, am I going to make it a European base somewhere? Or are you up bright and early in the US some like dark hours of the morning? Two AM. Ah, right. Here we go. Certainly in the US somewhere. Then, I guess by that. How many acres do you irrigate then? Run across the headland here again. Been up for thirteen hours. Up for 13 hours, you got four and a half hours on call. Four and a half hours for work, then you're on call. And hopefully you can get some shut eye when you're on call then. Hopefully no one rings. 175. What part of the states is that in? I'm assuming the states are in. GPS is a lifesaver. It is a, especially on multiplayer. Except when you get a really, really bad lag spike and uh, you end up going through what you're not meant to go through. 
can be a bit of a downside. Didn't think about these rocks. What do you guys think? Is it too late to turn rocks off or turn them off? Is rocks an issue in Australia? How long am I streaming for? Uh, what's the time? Probably another 20 minutes or so, hold on man. It's about 11 my time. It would be 9pm for you, I would have thought. Three and a half hours and you're off the next few days. Pretty bliss. Seven days off right now would be my idea of fun. Wish course play worked in the I haven't tried the latest one. The latest one's meant to be multiplayer compatible, isn't it? 7.2 or 7.0.2. Things we took for granted, eh? Last, last iteration of the game. This next week we'll be irrigating cotton ground before we plant next week. Ah. So what part of the states are you in are you to be to be irrigating? Hope you don't mind me asking all these questions. I'm just always interested to find out about how farming happens in other parts of the world. Like I watch plenty of you know videos and really enjoying what the Millennial Farmer and that have been doing with their tour of uh, California and that. I heard about it, but definitely about it. Yeah, I'm sure they said it was, mate. So, still in a very early multiplayer compatible stage. Desert Southwest. Yeah, but you pay for it when you do the actual hard yards though, wouldn't you Donald? Still gotta do the work. The downside to this is just thinking about the plowed is I'm probably gonna end up with a whole section. Oh, it hasn't. I know I'm the wrong one. I'm not missing too many bits. I thought there might have been areas where we turned and we don't get them, but. Blood irrigating. So that's so I've seen um Trevor Bales does that, doesn't he? Bales hey. He's down Arizona, I think. Watched some of his videos and seen the millennial farmer head there. So is that a similar similar thing to what you guys do? The southwest would be what desert South California, Arizona, Texas kind of area, is it? Excuse my ignorance. I'm trying to learn. Ah, cool. You talk to Trevor every day. Is that right? Oh, dude, really? Sean Hooks, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. About 10 miles away from who's that board? Trevor Bales. I'd love to see someone I think someone shared an image, but there's a, there's a there's a Ford egg mod. How about making one of those hay squeezers I've got? That'd be pretty cool. Man, do you think that sucks, bro? I would have thought they would have had plenty of work. You're in Arizona. It's involuntary irrigation, isn't it, Holder Man? We were talking about that. That's a week ago, like last stream, we were talking about how bad it was, and that's still making the news. It's still happening. 
Oh, I lost a contract. Yeah, bummer. What kind of work are we doing with Cora? Uh, with Cora? Like um, fibre sort of stuff, or just maintenance, or are you doing new installs? Pretty sure if you've got any electrical background or anything, you'd be able to go get a job as an electrician. Do something like that pretty easily. Screaming out for tradies. Using well water instead of river water, like Trevor. Yeah. How deep's your well then to get water? I was scheduling ah uh, right desk pilot 350 to 400 feet be way down it'd be pretty cold water coming out of that depth wouldn't it So you do a similar sort of hay to what he does, like with the um, alfalfa and that sort of thing. Multiple wells. It's deep, hey, Donald. <laughs> a long way down. Crazy. It's using two right now. It's still running up there. Yeah, I was, I was on the news tonight. I sort of caught up with it and just couldn't believe I've seen some. There's been some crazy videos of uh, like from traffic cameras showing roads and bridges and just you know they time lapse it over 24 hours and they just show you how these rivers have just flooded and come up and you know gone over the over the bridge or close the roads and that. Places here that are 60 to water. It'll be probably, yeah, it'll be valid. No. So get into a good pressure, we might go a little bit deeper than that. We use large bales like the 14 Rolling Heston, which we. Did you. You got here too late, we've just finished using that. In a while In fact, I've got a 23 8,000 litre Heston bales sitting over in the shed if you wanted to buy them. Or yours. <laughs> Shipped to Arizona. Need to find an oil well in the USA and make a million. Doesn't it become state property when you find oil or something like that? I know in New Zealand there's a mineral that on your land, and every title has it. And basically, if you discover something like that, you can lease the land to sell it, but you don't have any rights to use it. Stupid like that. Because it's basically you're tapping into a resource at a depth that's not just related to your um, your property. It's just your property's the source for it. Many years ago, they actually drilled these old um, test wells that they drilled around our area. You feel them scattered around. My grandparents' farm had one on it. It was basically a concrete, um, just a concrete capped well. House wells too big deep. We'd get water pretty shallow here, um, but it's not very, you know, dirty water, not very good. Yeah, the stuff's down much deeper. Swiss Mizzy, how you doing? Nice to have you here, welcome along. Three hours from Paris. Interesting. Oh, thanks for sharing that, mate, I appreciate that. Luckily I got an interview with New Zealand tomorrow morning, but intake won't go till May. What's that doing? Like doing similar sort of stuff? Scheduling type things or something a bit different? Do a bit different. You lease land here but you can have private oil wells here too. Yeah, okay. Hello FSG, how you doing? 
bit of sleep in this morning, did you, mate? You should be at work. You should be at work by now. It's, it's ten to ten. It's just about smoko time. Obviously, not wanting it for New Zealand laws. No, what? Bloody meeting. <laughs> Damn work getting in the way of a good time, eh? Have a look. Have a look at my track back here. Yeah. This. I've added the, uh, I've used my learnings from No Man's Land, I've added New South Wales and other plates into the map. On the front? Oh yeah, there you go, it's the front one. Becoming an expert at it. Customised number plates. <laughs> no worries, mate. Yeah, they worked out pretty well, actually. A bit more of a play around with the scaling and things like that. And you saw my uh, screenshot of my truck, my custom Kenworth. I know we let we don't have very good uh, doormen on the very good security on the door holder man they let any riffraff in nowadays game needs a giant rock picker I know that little one just doesn't cut it does it we actually need to implement rocks a whole lot better than they do but anyhow did you get a good decent redundancy out of course government, well it's not government owned anymore are they, but they normally have a pretty good package, how long were you working for? Oh. Tell you what, this field hasn't actually taken too long once we got going, it's actually been, been not too bad. I know you're a green fan FSG, check this plow out, it uh, plows but it also cultivates, it's done two things in one pass. Very clever. Doesn't remind me, I was going to go and Google. Where did I get it from? There we go. JA Modding is, uh, is one of the one of the South American guys. Yeah. Or was it released in game? That's where I got it from, it's an in game mod. <laughs> What's the horsepower requirements on it? Um wasn't too bad actually. Where is it? 2730 plow. 410. We're running 500. So it's not too bad at all. It's not the widest, but uh it does the job. It's not taking too long to do this field actually. It's going to take a while. Yeah, Mwelda, thanks for hanging out mate, if you're uh, off again. Very interesting. Please, uh, at least you joined us and shared some info about that. It's uh, very interesting to hear. I hope we, uh, hopefully see you in another stream sometime soon mate. Take care, stay safe out there in the dark, and we'll catch you soon. Don't rock, okay, yeah, I Iconic does, and I know, yeah, Stevie's done one as well, has Five years with them, so, oh, that's, that at least makes it a little bit more uh, tolerable, doesn't it, if you can get out there and find something else soon enough. Still, though, still, not a nice feeling. <laughs> Tame compared to what I say in DMs. <laughs> Or to his face when we're straight when we're recording No Man's Land. What are you? Uh, who are you going to be streaming tonight? If you stream, what are we doing? 
What are we doing in the farm some guy world? Or have your uh, newfound modding talents taken over and you're uh, quitting the content creation game? Oh, how's that happened? Oh, there we go. Looking it up. <laughs> you can imagine. Oh, you're not off yet. You've got a few hours to do. Ah, right. You have to edit out huge chunks of no man's land. Baloney. You know it. I mean, something different tonight, actually. I'm going to show you this. Mexican Lager, but it's a New Zealand label. Made in Gisborne. Locally grown corn adds a fullness and bigger mouthfeel to the light malt base, which combines with all American hops to provide a lift. Combined with all American hops to provide lifted aromatic flavours. Refreshing and thirst quenching lager, great for any hot Friday night. It's not bad. Very lagery. Very light. Bit of a tang to it actually, almost uh, almost a little bit of a spicy tang to it. Not good though. I mean, you can't get your lights to work on, oh, no. Haha, <laughs> it's a sign for deck, I might need to. <laughs> uh, chat in the lobby, what's the chat in the lobby in Effie's Cheese lobby? Right. Nothing incriminating, I hope. Have you tried turning them on? Have you got them, <laughs> have you got them selected? <laughs> uh, it'll be a 9pm start normally, Holden Man. It'll be 8 a.m. for you. It's normally 10 a.m. for me. There you go. And then Daylight Savings is going to turn up at the end of the month and ruin everything. <laughs> How many times have I had the middle finger from you in the last few days? Peace. I think it's his new favourite emoji to re reaction for any comment I made. This is another water wagon issue. <laughs> Still in the future, Chinook. Yep, no one's ever going to catch up to us, are they? I haven't reminded you all, but uh, just take this chance if you're enjoying things. Make sure you leave the like on the stream. I appreciate your support. Appreciate those of you who hung with me earlier on when we had a few internet issues. Please, uh, these things manage to even themselves out, and uh, we've been running pretty much trouble trouble free for the last hour or so. <laughs> I don't want to remind him about it, Donald, but the best part about the water wagon is that he'd done it once before in Texas with the feed wagon. If, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have paid him out so much about it, but it was just the fact it happened once, and he gave me the chance to pull him up on it again. Yeah, you might have some help. I already bought eggs once to be here to if he's true. Right, how's our time looking? 11 o'clock. Well, I think we'll get this field finished off and uh, that'll leave us perfectly poised to uh, go and take a look at the fields we leased next time. Field number three, that one there. 
in need of some ploughing and field number four hopefully it might be harvested soon. Grandfather's not here to point out your mistakes. Oh, I'll show you something too when we turn around if he's good. Good to see an evening args, args instead of a morning args. Which one do you prefer, Mark? Evening, evening args, I think, is a little bit more light-hearted, more relaxed. Come on. Oops. Not putting my implement down. Ford egg can fix mods by just looking at them. Mods are unscared when Fords are in. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you this FSG. This is Disturbed's um, custom crop calendar for, that he's put together from this based on Nuingham Farms in Western Australia. So, got the grains and that planted in autumn, which is, sounds to be pretty common across Australia. and harvested there, then the corn and sunflowers and things um, a little bit later in winter, which I'm still not quite sure if that's quite right, but um, certainly that, those ones up there are definitely on the money. DJ, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. Probably the only guy from the cotton, you know what, I've had quite a few <laughs> hanging out here mate, it's, uh, it's quite funny. Boards here, who else was? Uh, NM Welder, he was, Donald I think is US based as well. Go back to bed. <laughs> yeah indeed. How you doing DJ? Nice to see you. Are we, uh, what are we, are we getting up and getting prepped to do our news video are we? Those guys go back to bed. <laughs> you know it's actually amazed me DJ how many, uh, how many night owls there are how many viewers I have had that are US based. In fact we ran a little poll, I haven't actually looked at the poll to see where it ended up at 3am and I'm drinking coffee, it's weird to do. <laughs> you forget that I get up before some people go to bed. I, yeah, I don't know how you do it mate. I'm, I, yeah. How much, uh, serious question, how much sleep do you get? What time, what sort of time are you going to be to be able to get up at this time in the morning and do videos? Pretty serious commitment. I am, I am not a morning person though. Sleep when you're dead, that's your motto. You haven't been in Blender in a week, you're losing it. How the mod's gonna get made if you're not in Blender, eh? Chop chop. Wish you could go to bed but you're stuck at work for more. I say the pillow is gonna be very nice. Eight to nine hours because it's gonna be the oh, see. Yeah, just like my wife, she's in bed early. I could never do it, mate. I just. That's impressive. They're very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I know you like Mark. Two hours of sleep would be a luxury for you, wouldn't it? I think six six hours. I struggle to get up in the morning, so mornings mornings are not my friend. Except if there's something I want to do, I'll get up to do my Sunday stream. They are easy. I can get up for those, no problem. But getting up to go to work and do anything else, no. I'll lay in there clinging onto the duvet for as long as I can. I 
11 p.m. Yeah, it is 11 p.m. for me, and we're just getting this last bit of the fuel done. Oh, so now I know if I ever want to message you, DJ, this is the time to do it. So Greystone Farmsome Guy, it'll be uh, good to see you back on that. Must be what? What are you getting ready? You must be getting ready to do some more planting, are you? into that time of that series hey seed how you doing buddy can't wait for this map to come to all platforms and me i was wondering is 805 pm in queensland that's right because you guys don't do daylight savings do you so you're three hours behind you what time am i staying up till ah uh, we'll see we'll see what happens and try and try and maybe edit a video after this or i might do something completely unfarm some related and probably play something else for a little bit or I might go to bed, or I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those crazy run around in circle beers again. <laughs> being a yeah, bit of a change to the uh, change to the old body clock. Go from being a club DJ, you've probably gone completely opposite. Are you? you? You're awake when you used to sleep, and you're asleep when you used to be awake. Hold on, man, how did I get three subs and no videos? Mum, Dad, and your brother? Diehard Holden fans who go and sub to anything that says Holden in the name, regardless of whether you've got any content or not. Oh dear, just hanging out on the side of the road. Just chilling. Let's sleep. Sleep is an essential part to a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And that's where we all fail, having a healthy and balanced one. Alright, bing bang boom, we are done. Like that. Easy. Go down and get there a little bit. Six to twelve and then five to eight when you're a DJ. <laughs> Total opposite. <laughs> um. You're a responsible adult now though. Gotta live these responsible times. What's it then? I'll play all that but yeah. Probably. You want to see some farming action in Queensland. So what part of Queensland are you in? Hey Seed, tell us more about your farm, sell us, sell us your Instagram, tell us about what you do and what we'd see if we join your Instagram, or follow your Instagram, you really join one do you? Three stranger subs, <laughs> oh that'll be the, they'll be the diehard Holden fans. Oh, thought I had a little bit I needed to clean up up this end, but we do not. Really quick hayseed because we're uh, we're just about done here today, so sell it to me. In fact, I'll tell you what, we're going to go for a drive down the road and park this up at Field Three. That one was always going to be a home run though, wasn't it, DJ? Putting a big air seeder on Mod Hub. 
beating custom modding to it with their John Deere as well. We all know that'll become a hit when that gets uh, converted and brought through to 22. Parketa, thanks buddy. You take it easy as well mate. I need to, uh, let me did try and check, catch up with you on your channel at some stage too mate. See what you're doing there. And uh, I'm going to drive on the right side of the road this time so I don't get told off. Oh, put some flash on. Um, but no, nah, thanks for hanging out mate. Nice to see you. I agree Mark. I agree. It just has a real nice Aussie Aussie vibe to it and uh, all the feedback that I've had from the locals has been uh, positive as well. It shows too though, Ford. Always shows through. Tell when someone spent some time on it. Alright, so where are we heading? Make sure we're going on the right road. We're up here and we want to go to the. Uh, should, have, should have just gone through the old yard behind us, shouldn't we? Don't get to see the map doing that though. <laughs> You've modified a coffee pot to work in the plug in my truck and make me pot now. Nice. <laughs> DJ, thanks mate, nice to see you. Have a good day of recording and doing DJ things. We'll uh, hope to catch up with you again sometime soon, mate. Chuck some G Fuel. Bit of sponsored plug. We just have to hashtag ad after that. Do I own, I own the three, the, so the field we just cultivated and the two grass fields next to the yard we own. Um, but I started off with the one and a half mil on New Farmer. Um, I was just going to see where we ended up with, and just been buying equipment. So we're uh, yeah, just seeing where we end up. And I thought I'd try that least field mod out too. Something a bit different. Martin, you're back. <laughs> Wish it was a sponsored plug. <laughs> I'll keep saying it enough, you never know. Plumbob needs to get to work on the farm he played World of Warships last. I love you little Plumbob. We're gonna go looking for that uh for that slurry spread you mentioned on Spectacle Island, James. Just checking in your work. Oh, I appreciate you stopping in again. Here we go, the house is missing. Because I started on new farmer. Ah, I started on farm manager, sorry. No house, just a trigger. Alright, here we are. Turned in here. Park in the shade under the tree. And we wrap things up there. Incendiary, how you doing? Evening to you. If the blinkers on, turn those off. If you didn't see it, check out my number plate. We've got New South Wales number plates. Very happy with how those turned out. I'll um, pass those on to Hawks and see if he wants to install them and add them into the map as a base thing as well. But there we go. Right. Everyone, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Again, appreciate all the support um, and everyone who hung out and stuck with me through those difficult times at the start of the stream where my internet was not very friendly at all. So appreciate you all for that. Uh, no live stream this weekend. I'm going to be out of town on Sunday morning. I'm a nice couple of nights with no kids and a night away with Mrs. Argsy. So 
no live stream this weekend but we'll be back here next week again on southern cross and uh, we'll see what else we can bring you in the meantime so for everyone who's been here make sure you've liked the stream um of course if you've liked it appreciate that and if you're not already subscribed make sure you do that what else do i need to say that's about it um like the farm some guy because he'll be streaming tonight uh or tomorrow morning in about 12 hours so make sure you check out his channel and i'm sure a lot of you do already but i'm going to wrap things up there i'm going to stop just gargling regurgitating talking whatever it is um and we will catch you in the next one take care